Right, Liz. Tell it to the boss. Uh, what do you think you're doing? Not to hide, have you? No. Well, then. Well, then what? <gasps> to be honest, you and me are never going to be busy mates, are we? I'd like to slap you every time I saw you, but I wouldn't know which face to aim at. Right, that's it. Chuck her out, Todd. She's barred. But we do have one thing in common. We both want to see Tony get what's coming to him. So? So, if you've got any dodgy gear in here that you know nothing about, who is going to be for the high job? Oh, news flash. Liz MacDonald really is as stupid as she looks. Why would I work with you to bring down my own business? I mean, shall I come over to your pub and start taking selfies? Oh, look, here's me with some watered-down vodka. These are not selfies. These are photos of serial numbers of dodgy gear that Tony has put on your shelves. Shelfies. <laughs> that is not helpful. Sorry. Look, if Tony has brought out dodgy in here, it's me they're going to come looking for. Oh, chuck her out, Todd. I don't want to get covered in foundation. You're good with annoying punters. An annoying munter will be a doddle. Right, you've had your chance. If I can do anything to knock you two off your perch, I'm going to be all over it. Stupid cow. Look, uh, Liz, you are going to go, aren't you? You're not going to make me do my butch bouncer act. She knows we would both be better off with Tony out of the game. Everybody would. Even you, I bet. What time will it be delivered? And what is it? What do you mean you don't know? Well, when was it ordered? Oh, right. So you expect me to just take in whatever it is you've got on your van? Well, find out. Some stock Tony obviously ordered from mates weeks ago is turning up for us to shift. All right, what is it? But how the hell do I know? Stock turning up at half past five. Oh, just stuff him. Let's not sell it. No, it was paid for out of the company account, and I own half this business, so we will shift it. Yeah, all right, don't take it out on me, yeah? Go and clear the stock room. It's full of boxes. Uh, yeah, exactly, Todd. That's why it needs clearing. You know, break them down, shove them out the back. Yeah, Tracy, there's tons of them. That's not part of my job description, yeah? Uh, doing what you're told is. Yeah, all right. It's not me you had the affair with. It's not me who ran out and left you in the lurch, yeah? Just do it, Todd. You know, because otherwise you won't have a job description because you won't have a job. Here's Liz. There you go. <sighs> you OK? Cardboard injury. Did they break down boxes as hard labour in prisons or what? Never heard of it. <laughs> Tracy would make a good prison guard. She's got just the right temperament. Yeah, I know. Tell me about it. What's she making you break down boxes for anyway? Exactly. But there isn't even going to be a delivery. I don't even know what it is. Stock, Tracy says, so uh, who knows? Maybe she's making soup. What time's it coming? How's it coming? Why don't you just ask him about the route, Mother? I'm just showing an interest in my customers' lives. Mm. Well, I hope Roy's in later. Could ask him about the bus service between here and the allotment. Ah. So, do you have an ETA for this delivery? Why are you so interested? Oh, uh, by the way, I meant to ask, how did you get on with them serial numbers you were photographing this morning? You threw me out, didn't you? Yeah. That was before Tracy treated me like a whipping boy. Well, I could organise to have this delivery looked at if I knew when it would come in. 